By signing the AUKUS Pact last week, Australia revealed where it stands in the world. It is taking the side of the US over China. It's a definitive move for a country in the Asia-Pacific region, experts say. The security deal with the US, and the UK, gives Australia a huge defense upgrade from the world's most powerful military. But it's a gift with strings attached. And there is debate over whether such a decision, made without public consultation, will play out in Australia's national interests. As China has grown in power, it has begun to challenge US dominance in the Asia-Pacific region. China has built the world's largest navy and has become increasingly assertive over contested areas such as the South China Sea. Australia had long maintained it didn't have to choose between the two powers, but in recent years its attitude towards Beijing has hardened. China has been suspected of interfering in Australian politics and of cyber attacks on key institutions. Tensions were further inflamed last year when Australia called for an investigation into the origins of the coronavirus. A flurry of Chinese sanctions against Australian exports followed. Australia realized it needed to improve its defenses, and quickly. The main advantage on that front, AUKUS is a big coup for the country. The pact will give Australia access to nuclear-powered submarines and long-range missiles from US technology. All of this is about giving the Australian Defence Force a capable edge in a region where the capability of our own defence force when matched against China is going backwards, said Richard Maud, a former top Australian security official and now policy director at Asia Society Australia. In the event of conflict, Australia would for the first time have the ability to strike adversaries from a distance. What does the US get? For the US, it's a pretty big deal to share the crown jewels of its defence technology. But Washington views this one-off, trade as a crucial move in wider efforts to keep China at bay, experts say. As China projects naval power into the region, Australia's fleet, albeit small and some way off being completed, will be some form of counter alongside roving US forces, they add. But what are the disadvantages? Critics argue Australia has given up its strategic ambiguity and made itself a bigger target because of the pact. The way in which it was announced rips away any pretense that Australia was not firmly on the side of containing China militarily, says Professor Alan Gingle, president of the Australian Institute of International Affairs. Analysts warn Australia will probably face more economic retaliations from its biggest trading partner. Others say AUKUS also locks Australia in with the US for generations to come. In the future, Australia may struggle to retain autonomy over decisions in its best interests. It will be reliant on foreign nuclear technology. We can't operate the submarines ourselves. So in effect we are ceding some of our sovereignty to the US, and maybe Britain, Professor Gingle says. It will become therefore impossible for the major strike capacity of the Australian Navy to operate without a US veto. Views in the region it's already caused some backlash within the ASEAN group of 10 Southeast Asian nations. Indonesia has cancelled a meeting with Australia's Prime Minister Scott Morrison, and Malaysia has warned the pact as a catalyst for a nuclear arms race. Some analysts say many smaller Asian nations are happy for the US, UK and Australia to make bold moves.